Alright guys, uh, been making some videos for the Handy app and uh, I know they've kind of been here, there, up, down, left, right. Um, made a bunch of them and then finally started uploading them so it's kind of jumbled up a little bit I do believe. So I'm going to make this one right here and kind of try to lay out the problems and all my thoughts that I've had with the app to kind of give you a complete, not a rundown of it. Um, so handy app if you don't know what it is or handy pro app it's basically a way for you to find some work to do in your spare time if you're handy um they got jobs on there lawn mowing weed whacking trimming you know yard stuff uh repair work cleaning houses putting up uh, tvs and houses you know all kinds of different stuff on there depending on what your skill set is um me myself I've got a zero tone lawnmower and all the equipment um, just for myself to work on my own yard and I've got some spare time um, so I decided to jump on this app and I started a little landscaping business on my own on the side and I've got some of my own personal clients that I take care of and so I decided to jump on that to try to fill some of the gaps uh, maybe make a little extra money uh, I saw some videos out there as people making you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars an hour to the handy app. Um, I ain't seen that as a possibility in my area, at least, and with how these jobs have been described by the customers and just simply put, um, either lied about by them when they set up the job with handy or home advisor or whatever. Um, but yeah, so the way that kind of works is, uh, you know, you sign up, they run your background, all that stuff. You know, just like if you're signing up for Uber or Lyft or some other kind of gig job um, or side hustle or whatever that you want to call it. So you sign up, they can prove you be on the app, you kind of tell them, you know, what kind of jobs you're looking for and they give you a filter and show you jobs. So, you know, within, uh, I think they say within 100 miles of your area, but uh, I get jobs that are further out than that. You don't have to take them, they just, you know, show up there. To, and you can claim them, you know, you get an idea of where the job is, it gives you a little description of the job, and how much you'll make for said job, and estimated how long it will take to do said job. Um, it's pretty simple, right? Um, so, my best guess, and from doing some research and whatever, how it works is, the client will contact either Home Advisor, Angie, um, or Handy, and they will set up, you know, to have service done. And doing this, they uh, basically go through, you know, put what they're wanting done with, like, for example, we're gonna talk mainly about, you know, landscaping and lawn mowing and stuff, because that's what I'm doing in the app. Um, so they'll, you know, contact Home Advisor, Angie, um, or set it up in the handy customer app, you know, their job description, how many square foot they want mowed, um, whether they want it edged out, whether they need stuff blown out, you know, they'll give a complete little rundown of what is wanted on, you know, what they want done on their yard. So, once it gets put through Home Advisor or Angie, it shows up in the Handy Pro app and you can pick it up. Um, and you know, what I'm starting to find out here is either the clients are lying about their yards, um, or when they set it up with Handy or Angie, because some of these get set up through phone calls. Like they will contact Home Advisor or Angie and speak to them, and they will go ahead and get them set up for a booking, you know, a time, and you know, put in all their details of the yard, and in those cases, either the client is lying to Home Advisor or Angie about the size of their yard um, and what they're wanting done, or the person taking the booking is changing some facts to get them a better rate, so they'll agree to go ahead with the booking. Um, and that just doesn't work out because what. I've seen thus far in this is you'll get the job description of say 5,000 square feet that needs to be mowed and you will roll this 
some of these and it will be nowhere near accurate. It will be off by I, the worst one I've had so far. And I didn't do this job because I started doing my due diligence was the guy I had put in, he needed 5,000 square feet mowed. When I happened to Google the guy's address and Zillow it, he had well over two acres. An acre is somewhere around 40,000 square feet. So him having two of those would be 80,000 square feet. And he was requesting to have 5,000 square feet mode. So I contacted him to check and see what was going on. Maybe his yard was, you know, very small, what he actually needed in mode, only wanted a certain part of it mode, something along those lines, you know, where it wasn't actually his whole lot he needed mode. It was just a certain part. Contact said person, and they say, no, they need his whole yard mode. Um, and I explained to him, I said, well, you've only requested to have 5,000 square feet mode, um, and that's what they're paying me to do. And, you know, the amount you're paying is for 5,000 square feet. It's not to have your entire yard mode, even if I could do it in the amount of time that is listed, you know, in the job description. That's not the point. Um, look back and forth with this client, and everything I've done with these clients I have talked to, handy and been advised that this is what I can do to try to make it right. You know, in the case of this one, I, they told me I could request that the, you know, person add more time to the job to try to make it, you know, work out. And they've also told me I can roll up to a yard and mow the requested amount, um, requested amount of yard to be mowed and leave. So in this case, I could have rolled up and mowed the 5,000 square feet and been like, my job here is done and left and collected my money. The only part about that doesn't work out is Handy is not gonna back you up and knock off the customer ratings that are negative and pointless. You know, if you request me to mow 5,000 square feet and I mow up, roll up and mow it immaculately and it looks great, that 5,000 square feet, but you in reality wanted your two acres mowed, you're gonna be pissed off. Um, really shouldn't, cause you know, you're lying, you're trying to get work for free, and I don't work for free, that's not what I do. Um, not a charity organization by any means. Um, I know some of you guys out here like to do, uh, you know, help people out and stuff, and I don't have a problem with that, but when I'm picking up these jobs and stuff, it ain't to do them for free, to do them for charity work. That's not what I'm doing here. Um, sorry about you. So, back to this job, you know, went back and forth with the guy. I was like, hey, um, there's no way I'm mowing your two acres for 50 bucks. It ain't happening. No one in their right mind is gonna mow two acres for 50 bucks unless you've got Bob or Jill or Tommy from down the street who, you know, is in their teens or whatever and looking to make an extra dollar or two or whatever. Um, you know, then you might get lucky. But uh, more than likely, ain't no one mowing two acres for 50 bucks. It ain't happening, guys. Not, not, no landscaping company is going to go mow your two acres for 50 bucks. It ain't going to happen. You know, go find your crackhead and maybe that'll work out. Um, but once again, two acres for 50 bucks, not ever going to happen. Not, not, not with gas what it is, not with cost of materials, cost of repairs, all that stuff. Ain't going to happen, guys. So, you know, I explained to him, you know, you listed 5,000 square feet, you got two acres laid that out to him and he still stood by that 5,000 square feet somehow equals 10,000 or 5,000 square feet equals two acres. So I canceled the job, dropped it out, you know, with plenty of time so he could go find someone else who was going to, you know, I don't know, maybe do his work for free or whatever. Um, Cause I wasn't going to go do the 5,000 square feet and get a negative rating and, you know, kill my rating. Um, Cause then in turn you could get kicked off the app for having a low rating. And since Handy wasn't going to back you up and knock these low ratings off that are inaccurate, I dropped that job. Um, I've had other jobs where they are listed as whatever amount and they are off, but I'm already on site, so I go ahead and knock the job off. And then I'm not a stickler. If you're off by a couple thousand square feet, no big deal. But once we get start getting to the point where the amount of yard you're requesting to be mowed is actually less than half of what needs to be mowed, we got a problem, guys. Um, and Handy ain't going to be no help with this because all they're going to tell you is mow the requested square feet, see if the customer will add time. Well, no customer is going to add time because they've already been quoted a low rate. 
and Handy stands behind that you are paid at an hourly rate um, and that is what you're entitled to you know if you can complete whatever work they're wanting done in the amount of time then they're not going to give you any extra money and the only way they're going to give you any extra money is if um, the customer approves it you know to add more time to said job yeah well that don't work out no customers doing it and you know you just end up with a bunch of us contractors doing free work to try to keep our ratings all right and that ain't how this this works in this world man this people with the hellhole that our country is currently in um let's go brandon uh ain't no one doing all this extra work for free especially when it's very blatant, blatant that you are just trying to scam someone and get free work done and lie. It ain't happening. Um, not at all. And it's not cool. So, so far from, I'm heading out to job 13, which is a repeat, lucky number 13. Right now, as I'm making this video for y'all, I ain't a big fan of the Handy app, but I'm going to keep doing these to give you guys an honest opinion, uh, review. Maybe I've just had a rough start and some of these will start to pick up. Maybe it's my area. Maybe y'all have had better experiences with the Handy app. Maybe you guys got a, you know, better service area. I am out in the country a little bit. Um, some of these dry jobs are pretty far away and, you know, not working out. Today is going to work out all right for me with what I've got going on probably, hopefully, because two of them are repeats. I know they're easy breezy. Um, two are going to be first time jobs and we'll see what's up with them. But uh, I'm going to keep on making these videos and give me a rundown of the Handy app, review of the jobs, my experiences with support, see if they do anything. If you guys could like, share, subscribe, maybe we'll get some traction, maybe we'll get Handy's attention and they'll have an actual phone conversation with me about what's going on. Um, and we can maybe improve their app a little bit or find some way that it, you know, you're going to support your contractors a little bit more than you do because what you're doing is just wrong. You know, if you guys aren't the ones booking these jobs wrong, like I'm saying, if Handy or Angie or Home Advisor aren't the ones making the wrong listings for these jobs, you've just got clients straight up lying about what they're wanting done versus what they really want done. Or I guess I should say you had clients requesting a certain amount of work and wanting another amount done for the same amount of money then you guys need to do something it should not matter that I can mow way more acreage in the amount of time than what's listed that that, that is not a factor because it comes down to that if I am told the yard is 5,000 square feet I mean here's a point on it if the job listings from 5,000 square feet. I may uh, just have that one job and, you know, not want to waste wear and tear, not want to take the zero turn. I'll just throw, you know, a little push behind or walk behind, you know, in the back of the car or whatever and go knock it out. And I roll up and you've got two acres, well, I ain't push mowing it and, you know, all that. You know, equipment's a factor. I understand having an hourly rate for your contractors and trying to stand behind that. Isn't that what we're being paid and not per job? That doesn't work out when you start factoring equipment into the mix. You know, me mowing a 5,000 square feet with a zero turn is going to be a whole lot quicker than with a walk behind. Imagine that. Um, so, you know, but... It may be quicker with a zero turn, but I got more expensive. I got more maintenance, more upkeep, more wear and tear. It was more a larger investment anyway, you know? And it shouldn't matter that I showed up, to, you know, knowing that it was 5,000 square feet, because that's what I've been told. And have to go and mow, mow 10, 15, 20,000 square feet just to keep my rating up and get paid the same amount as I would have got paid on a 5,000 square foot job. You know, $50 is about the cheapest you're going to get any landscaping guy, lawn crew to show up to your yard and knock it out on a, you know, bi-weekly or weekly basis, you know. Unless you, like I said, you got Tommy from down the street who's 13 and just trying to, you know, make some money so he can go, you know, take Suzanne out for a date or whatever it is. 
or buy Pokemon cards or whatever the kids are into. Fortnite, Fortnite skins, that's what kids are into, you know, I think. I don't know. Um, at that age anyway. Uh, it ain't happening, guys, you know? So, I think I'll make some other videos here, maybe giving uh, some customers a rundown of how this landscaping, you know, how you should treat your lawn guys a little bit better than you do and think about it a little bit more than you do. Um, you know, we're people too. But that's about all I got for now. I'm going to drop my link below. If you do sign up for the Handy app, it's a $250 bonus right now if you complete five bookings within 14 days of signing up or getting approved for the app. So if you do decide to jump on or want to give it a go or want to just see if I'm full of crap and making all this up for attention, I welcome you to it. Use my link below, make an extra $250, and uh, let me know how it goes. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, guys. Help me out. Let's get this going around. Maybe Handy, uh, we'll get mad. They'll probably get pissed off and just kick me off the app, which, you know, that'll be wonderful. Probably a blessing in disguise, to be quite honest. Um, but, yeah, I'll catch you all in a little while. Peace.